and people now claim that it's possible to release miracle money to people. Welcome once again to this channel. There is an unconfirmed news of the stripping off of a self-acclaimed prophet. Hubert Angel is Zimbabwean of his diplomatic status. Al Jazeera did some investigation and this brought episodes of Gold Mafia, the Gold Mafia. Hubert Angel, who claimed to be the master of miracle money, is embroiled in this and people cannot actually add one and one together to make it two anymore. Why is a big question mark. Let us listen to what Eddie Cross has to say as regards this rumor of um, him being stripped off of his diplomatic status. I tell you that uh, the so-called um, pastor, the, 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 the guy who claimed to be a Christian, a Christian pastor, has been stripped of his diplomatic passport. In fact, he's had his passport removed from him, and uh, the president has stripped him of all, all, all uh, status. Uh, he might, in fact, fail jail time. A couple of hours after the release of the first episode of The Good Mafia by Al Jazeera, Prophet Hubert Angel went on his own social media handles to also preach and teach about Jesus Christ bank statement where he spoke extensively confusing or trying to convince his members on why it is important to make money and he also told them the driving force what prompted him without actually saying exactly anything about a jazeera investigation he talked about a nigerian businessman mogul a man who is the richest african Dangote. He said he was at an event and he was put at the back seat, the seventh seat, and Dangote was placed at the second seat in front of the whole world. He said he felt bad. This event is actually an occasion where dignitaries, presidents attended in Kenya and he felt bad. And he said this Dangote has no vision. He has no prophecy. How then am I being placed at the back when he is being placed at the second row and the presidents and other dignitaries are placed at the front seat? He felt bad and realized that something is missing. And what is it? Money. Money, money. And he said he's gone past trying to fleece members of money, trying to tell them to give him money whilst they wait for God to give them. And probably this is the reason why he decided to go for the money himself. As we proceed on this journey, kindly tap on the subscription button if you are new here. Subscribe to this channel, it's very important. Like and share this video, very important. Now, there are questions on the lips of a lot of people. If actually there is anything called miracle money that can mysteriously appear in your wallet, in your bag, in your room, in your bank account, how come is it that the master of miracle money, Hubert Angel, physically engaged himself in getting money by laundering of gold and cash? How is this possible? How is it possible? These are the questions people are asking. But I don't need to dwell on that. Common sense is enough for you if you have one. One or two or three people out there, apostles and pastors have um, talked and criticized this miracle money concept. One of them is Pastor Abel Damina and also Apostle Arome and um, some of his spiritual sons. They have criticized Hubert Angel and some of the pastors and apostles or prophets who have um, decided to sell this miracle money concept to Christians. Let us listen to Apostle Arome. And um, we will talk more. I don't want to press. I don't want to press. But let me press. Let me press. Jesus took a coin. And he said, whose image is this? On this coin. Okay, okay, this is Caesar's image. 
He said, give to Caesar what is Caesar. You know, you know, you know, in recent times, pastors became creative. Dans le temps récent, les pasteurs sont devenus créatifs. And people now claim that it's possible to release miracle money to people. Et les gens ont dit qu'il est possible de libérer l'argent miracle aux gens. But listen to what Jesus said. Jesus Et said. Écoutez ce que Jésus dit. Whose image is on the money? Il dit quelle image de qui se trouve sur They cette pièce. They said Caesar. Et ils ont dit Caesar. So it means that it belongs to who? Cela veut dire que la pièce appartient à Caesar. If we bring your money is called Cefa. Votre yeah. argent s'appelle le Cefa. Uh, your central is it Central Bank of Cameroon? Et votre banque c'est la banque centrale central, de Cameroun. Okay. Central Bank of Cameroon owns your money. C'est lui qui a votre argent. Your money belongs to Central Bank of Cameroon. Votre argent appartient à la banque centrale de Cameroun. And that's why it carries the signature of the governor of Central Bank of Cameroon. C'est pour cela qu'elle porte la signature de la, du gouverneur de la banque centrale de Cameroun. It means that the way money should be used is according to the guidelines of Central Bank of Cameroon. Ça veut dire que votre argent doit être utilisé selon les guidelines de la banque centrale. If the money belongs to Central Bank, si l'argent la, appartient à la banque centrale, and God causes the money to come from heaven, God has violated the authority of Central Bank. Et Dieu fait pleuvoir cet argent du ciel. Dieu a violé la loi de la banque centrale. Because Jesus said that this money belongs to Caesar. Parce que cet argent appartient à César. If Jesus begins to if you go into your house and you begin to manufacture money, you know you, you can print money. But the source possible. of that money is not Central Bank of Cameroon. Mais la source de cet argent n'est pas la banque centrale de Cameroun. The way it was produced is not according to the guidelines. So if you are apprehended, you will spend some time in jail. Donc la manière que tu as produit cet argent ne correspond pas aux règles. Donc si on And vous attrape, God vous allez être is not a lawbreaker. Et Dieu n'est pas quelqu'un qui brise so God will not break the law in order for him to put money in your pocket. Il va pas briser un loi because pour it belongs to Caesar. Do you understand what I'm talking about? And Jesus said, Et Jésus a dit, Give to Caesar. Donne à César what is Caesar's. Ce à César. But give to God Mais donne à Dieu what is God's. Ce lui so Jesus in his explanation Donc Jésus en, en revealed that there were several things that belong to who? To Caesar. Il il Don't forget to give to him what is his. And there are also things that belong to God. Et il y a aussi choses qui and I don't, à I don't want to go into that now. Je I've shown you 12 things that belong to God that je, Christians don't give to God. That's why we are like this. Pour cela que nous we, we are owing God. Nous avons une dette Dieu. So the answer Jesus gave the Pharisees was all of the above. Now, for those who might be a little bit confused about this concept of miracle money and how pastors or prophets, religious clerics like Hubert Angel could involve himself in actually getting the physical money, going into the process, either legally or illegally. Well, we'll be listening to Abel Damina, where he buttressed, he further made it clearer, his own idea, his own revelation about miracle money. Let's hear him speak. Money is supposed to be legal tender, produced by the central bank of a country. And God is not a staff of central bank. And God does not work in central bank. So any money that will be used in any country of the world has to be produced by the central bank. And they have a printing and minting company where the money is produced. That is why God does not give money. But God can give you a miracle. How does God give financial miracles? He could give you ideas, concepts, insights. He could connect you with opportunities. He could connect you with relationships with people that are willing to invest, give you money, but the money will be from the central bank of that country, not some money from falling from the sky or some angels producing some divine currency. There's nothing like that. God is not a criminal. He's not going to produce an illegal tender and force it into the nation. That's very, that has to be understood. So God doesn't function like that. Yes, you can pray for a financial miracle and financial miracles from God come in form of commerce, industry, ideas, connections, relationships, you know, and, and concepts. 
that God can give you or connect you with people or give you favors with people or help you to, to meet people that will invest. That's the way God produces miracles. So, yes, in that light, you can ask God for a miracle. Now, I believe this should be enough to convince you that the concept of miracle money as it is preached and demonstrated by some of these religious clerics are not actually what it is. We saw videos and um, we saw how pastors who call themselves spiritual sons transferred money into account of a wife and she came out to say God has deposited money into her account as if the name of her husband was not um, noted on that the transfer of that um, money. And if this could happen, um, one would wonder, you know, they've always preached and talked about this, helping God, packaging it for God. And they will talk about how um, a certain servant or servants were given talents and one buried his own, one um, did and traded with his own and all of that. So everyone has a gift. We have a calling. Do and use what you have. Do it as you see it. Work it as you work it. Even if you have to um, kind of um, lie to people, even if you have to pretend, even if you have to go through all of this charade and very you know terrible, terrible manipulation, do it as long as you get people to believe in God. These have been what some of them are beginning to teach um, themselves. I mean, the upcoming, the so-called spiritual sons, spiritual father stages, spiritual sons, all of this. If Hubert Angel could go for money, some might say this is illegal. I don't want to go into the political aspect of Zimbabwe and how the West placed sanctions on the country. It is tough. It is not easy. But what I do know is this. 99% of all the backdoor trading, laundering, none of it, as we can see, is going back to benefit the poor masses. They have become poor due to corruption and sanction. What are your thoughts about miracle money? What are your thoughts about Hubert Angel? And is behind the scene operation and if we could see as he claimed how come he did not know it was being recorded how come he did not see into the realms of the spirit to know this was going to happen or was he warned by god or god kept quiet to allow this to happen to him as a lesson life is mysterious what are your thoughts drop it at the comment section do not forget to like and share this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're new here see you in the next one